going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. Now, this video is for the hip hoppers and beboppers everywhere. Hip hoppers and beboppers? Let's take it back to Union Square. What is that? The old school people know what I'm talking about. DJ Jazzy Jeff, Fresh Prince, when they performed live at uh, New York, New York City, at Union Square. I've never heard that. It's on YouTube. If you want to, go look it up. In my opinion, that's when hip hop was good. I don't listen to hip hop no more. I stopped listening to hip hop in mid 2000s, early 2000s, something like that. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. I was watching, now let's get to the trucking business part. Some of you that look like me, okay, some of you want to get into the trucking business. You got your CDL and you want to. Get your own truck, get your own business rolling, and everything like that. Okay? That's nothing wrong with that. But, well, I'll get to that. That's, that's fine. But I was watching a video. I saw this video pop across my screen, and it was in my recommended videos over on to the right on YouTube. I saw it last week, and it stayed there all week. So, all right, you know what? I'll go ahead and click on it and watch it. Um, so, and what the video was, it was about signing the contract. In the music industry, I think BET put the, the video out about signing the contract in the music industry. How these um, record companies will find these artists, whatever they do, um, and they will offer them a contract deal. I don't remember all the exact numbers and the details of everything, but just hear me out. I'll put the video down in the comments below. You can check that one out. And the one artist, I don't remember what the names were, this, the split was 85-15. Record company got 85%. The artist got 15%. Now, the company did all the promoting. They say they did all the promoting, and then out of that 15% that you got, you pay for everything else. Okay? So, how does that apply to trucking? Some of you want to get into these lease programs. It works the same way. All these businesses, at the end of the day, they're all the same. The structures, uh, the structures, a lot of these structures are the same. It's just the the entity, the different components and things like that are changed up. So you want to get into a lease deal, right? I'm not saying all leases are bad, but what I'm saying. A lot of them, they'll give you the truck. They'll give you give you the truck. I say give. I'm using give very loosely. They'll put you in a the truck. They'll provide. They'll provide you a truck. They'll provide you a trailer. They'll provide you your tags. They'll provide you everything, and then you got to pay for everything. That's the same way that these artists were saying that the music industry gets these artists in the contract because these guys don't read. The, and that there was a couple of them that we didn't read the contract and when they want to get out of the contract or wonder where they mon their money is or something like that it was all in the contract that there was was a red it was just the contract was there you just chose not that person just chose not to read it so a lot of times some of us some of us yes my hands are ashy some of us don't like to read things so you hip hoppers and beboppers before you get into a lease you need to read the contract because everything may look good on the outside and they promise you, oh, your truck can make $200,000, $250,000 a year. But after they give you your cut, after they take theirs and you pay for everything, you might be better off staying a company driver, saving up some money and going that way and acquiring a truck and starting your business that way than instead of going the lease way. So that's just my opinion. So um, short video, I'll put the video down there. There was another video that was put out by the same people about how the artists got their money. They would be promoted and they would get the albums would sell and they would get you know these big checks, $10,000, $20,000, uh, $30,000, $100,000, $600,000 or whatever, right? And then they would blow it. 
Same thing can happen in trucking. You guys, you, you get into a truck, you start, you're not used to making trucking, trucking money, whatever that number is, and then instead of saving that money or investing in other things or just putting the money aside, usually it's best to just put it aside and invest in other things so that way you don't spend it on stupid stuff. Um, don't ball before your time. There was a video that was put out that's not available no more. Don't ball before your time. And they were saying that the money was there one day, then you just having a good old time, just spending, just spending, and then next day, it's all gone. So just a quick video that I thought I'd put out there. Maybe it would help somebody. Um, I'll put those two videos down in the comment below. We'll see you in the next one.